Hi, I'm George Argo with Argo Electrical Services, and I am the surge protector guy. And today, we're going to talk about how to install an electrical box on a metal stud wall. Now, obviously, we're in my work shed, so I don't have a metal stud here. But what I do have is a commercial-grade, plastic-approved box. And you can see this guy right here has got a piece on the side to where you can slide it right up to it. It's got four screw holes. It's even got a line so you can center the height of your box from the floor. On the back, it's got two protective studs. And what that does is that dude mounts right against the sheetrock on the back side and it keeps the box from flopping in the wall. Um, it's also got an extra spot over here so when your sheetrock installer comes over, all he's got to do is run his router or hand cut all the way around and the sheetrock will actually slide right up to that spot and you've got five-eighths of an inch, which was what com most commercial grade sheetrock is. Um, I also have a deep 1900 junction box. Uh, 1900 is actually an order number, but this is a four by four square box and it's deeper than your normal box. It's got half inch knockouts all the way around it. Now, this guy would slide right up to the edge of your stud and you would have to use a plaster ring to get it out away from the wall as far as you would. Um, your plaster rings could go anywhere from three quarters of an inch, one inch, down to an uh, eighth or a quarter of an inch. Um, those two screws would hold the plaster ring. Um, I like the metal boxes myself, but this is a very sturdy box and it'll work very well. Again, I'm George Argo with Argo Electrical Services and I am the surge protector guy and you just watched how to install an electrical box on a metal stud wall. Thank you.